It could be the next big thing for downtown Las Vegas. Theme park type rides on the roof of Neonopolis. Yeah, and it's being called Mini Disney and the first ride expected to open sometime this fall. News 3's Denise Roche is live in Neonopolis. And Denise, this has no connection to the Disney known all around the world. Yeah, absolutely not. Mini Disney is pronounced the same, but it is spelled differently. And the owner here at Neonopolis tells me he has no intention of infringing on copyright. But putting the name aside, here's what it is. Five rides on the roof of Neonopolis, including two roller coasters, a neon monster zip line, and an open air skydiving simulator. That one is called Aero Vegas, and it should be opening by fall. Rohit Joshi is owner of Neonopolis, and he's announcing this project next week at the International Council of Shopping Centers Convention. Expected cost on all this, about $300 million. So all those attractions, we are calling it the Mini Disney, spelled M-I-N-I-D-I-S-N-I, -I -I, so that we don't get into infringement of the name of Disney. And I think this is the newest thing going on right now in the retail business. It's no longer the soft goods, the hard goods, the perishable goods. We don't have to have malls anymore. Malls are getting outdated. And I think this is the way downtown will grow. And Jesse tells me that he is just the landlord on this project. Each individual ride operator and owner will be putting up the capital. And he expects that all of the rides will be open within the next five years. Oh. Reporting live at Neonopolis, I'm Denise Ross for News 3. Let's go back to the studio. Oh, well, for sure, Las Vegas loves to reinvent itself. So why not do it with more roller coasters at the very least? Denise, thank you. Yeah, certainly they say if you build it, perhaps they will come. Yes. <laughs>